Hey guys, and welcome to another exciting edition of Scruff's Garage. Uh, today we're under the car. Uh, it's still part of the engine build series, uh, but really what I'm doing is more um, maintenance that I've always been meaning to do, but I just haven't gotten around <clears throat> uh, to doing. So today I'm changing the fuel filter. Um, the fuel filter, at least on my C5 Corvette, <clears throat> is a uh, fuel filter and pressure regulator uh, assembly so it makes these uh, fuel filters a bit more expensive than just your standard uh, fuel filter um, to locate the fuel filter so um, I'm under the car this is on the driver's side frame rail at the back uh, just in front of the uh, rear axle so you've got two lines uh, coming into the filter and then one line uh, going to the front uh, to the motor uh, so there's a line in and then there's a return line that goes back to the tank because remember it's a, a pressure regulator uh, and then like I said the line going uh, to the motor um, just one bolt holds it to the frame rail uh, I think it's a little 10 millimeter I think that's what that is um, but first we're going to disconnect uh, the fuel lines so there's some uh, disconnect clips back here and then we'll use a, uh, a disconnect tool uh, for the front piece Uh, the other thing I should mention as you're preparing to do this, so uh, obviously my car, the engine hasn't run uh, in quite a while. I've got the entire uh, drivetrain out. But if you're just doing this as general maintenance, uh, you'll want to relieve the, the pressure from the fuel system before you, you take the, uh, the filter out. Uh, you've got a couple options for doing that. Uh, one, you could pull the uh, fuel pump relay and then crank the motor over. It'll run for a second, then sputter. Um, and basically it's using uh, using up the fuel pressure <clears throat> uh, the other option uh, you can take a rag and on the um, fuel rail there's a Schrader valve uh, you can cover the Schrader valve with the rag and depress the uh, the little valve in there uh, and that'll bleed off the pressure as well so like I said either option is, is fine uh, and then you'll also want to have a, um, a bucket or something um, as there will still be some fuel in the fuel filter um, <clears throat> so you'll probably want to catch that so you don't make too big of a mess all right so let's get started uh, taking loose these clips let's see how hard these are going to be to to get to So there's the first one. Yeah, breathing a lot of gas fumes now. I'll show you. No, that was going to show you. Okay, here we go. Uh, so these clips over here. I can get this where you can see it. Uh, it's just a, a plastic clip so you press them in this way and then you can push on the line and it will disconnect and a new fuel filter will come with new plastic clips uh, in case you break one tell you what let me go ahead and take this loose
Okay, there we go. So with this style, uh, quick disconnect for the uh, fuel line or AC lines, any, anything that uses this style connection. Uh, there's a spring in there that basically you press this in and it disconnects the, the fingers in there and then allows you to pull it off the end. Yeah. Okay. There we go. No one installs. So you just press it in until it clicks. clips in. The orientation of the lines coming in is different on the new filter. One line is larger than the other and so they need to be oriented a certain way. There we go. That will work. There we go. One last snug. Make sure my lines are clicked in. There we go. Give me more up close look. So nothing that holds them on. There's the thing that's got the push lock. So hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to um, post them in the comments. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and I appreciate it. And look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for tuning in.